Cars to the Junction Oval for a live telecast of today's Mitsubishi Motors VFA Cup final match. Good afternoon and welcome again to VFA Football. The big uh, match today and the preliminary final is between Williamstown and uh, Frankston being played here at the Junction Oval. And at the present time we have the second division match preliminary final being played between Paran and Sunshine. Uh, both sides were pretty even up until uh, three-quarter time. We had uh, Sunshine leading by three points coming in here for the last term, or two points it was, and now Paran, 16-5, uh, uh, leading Sunshine, 12 goals, 13. But nevertheless, Tony Banks, it's been quite a good game. It's been a good game of football. Not exactly uh, a tough game of football, but uh, they've certainly been putting in. And I think that uh, Sunshine came right back into it in the third quarter with a six-goal burst basically against the breeze too and uh, that's what's brought them into it but Sun, uh, Paran appear to be getting the ball down there as if there's uh, I don't think the wind's going to play a great deal of uh, importance on uh, the first division match certainly this match as well okay Tony Eddie Maguire here with us you've been watching it all the way through Eddie what's happened to um, Sunshine in this last quarter well Sunshine have been falling down across the half forward line in this quarter Phil uh, bat for the um Paran's side has been a great player, bouncing off the half-back line, rebound football, Walder up forwards, played well, and Paran are really getting on top now through some of their smaller players. All right, let's get down to business now and uh, start calling the second division uh, preliminary final here, but we remind you that at five minutes past two, we'll be commencing the big game between Williamstown and Frankston here from the uh, Junction Oval. And now, it's over to Tony Banks. Ball on the wing position now, and uh, Paran to attack ball up on the half forward line chance here for Taylor Taylor gets the ball up forward towards centre half forward and Lowe who's been very strong he's had a great uh, duel today Eddie with Moss Moss has probably had about 15 kicks at full back and there haven't been kick outs but Lowe uh, very strong fellow has used his bulk well and has been able to uh, convert four goals for Paran gives the short pass in and Sulos has taken the mark about 30 metres out on an angle. But from this particular area, they've been able to thread them through fairly well today. We've been playing now for 12 and a half minutes into the final quarter of the preliminary final. As Sulos with the left foot kick comes in, swinging around, but not enough. And it's through for only one behind. So Luke Sulos' first score of the game. Pran now lead by 17 points. 16-6-102 to Sunshine, 12-13-85. Throughout the year, Sunshine have been able to have the wood over Paran. They've, uh, they thrashed them in round 12 by about 12 goals and then beat them by three points in a thrilling game back at the start of the season. Ball now in the uh, middle of the ground. The hand pass comes out in the direction of Sunshine's number 37, and that was Lawler. He's had an off day today. He recovers, gets the ball, and kicks it up forward. Ball to ground now. Coming in is Hutchinson, the captain of uh, Paran. He gets the hand pass across and he looks out here for Bingham. Bingham by himself takes the mark in front of uh, Protetto, who's had an extremely good game. The hand pass comes across to Big Steins. Steins goes towards uh, the middle of the ground. Hand pass comes across in the direction of Brown. Brown gets a long kick down towards Litchfield. Out in front, he's about 45, 50 metres out. Coming back onto the ground is Giles, who was sent off in the third quarter after he was reported for allegedly striking Menadue of the Sunshine side. Bingham coming off the ground as Litchfield lines up for goal number six. The drop punt on its way, swinging in, won't make the distance, or will it? I think it has. Just touched off line, touched rather, through for one behind. So that's his second point for the day. Litchfield's kicked five goals, two, after being held well in the first half, and he's been one of the main reasons why Sunshine have come back in this second half of the game. They desperately wanted that goal though, Eddie, if they wanted to get back into the game. At this stage, they trail by 16 points. They got it under two goals. They would have had a big chance. They've only gone 14 minutes into the final quarter. Bat went high, couldn't take the mark, and the ball's going to be pushed over the line. The throw in the half-forward line. 
Yes, uh, Paran today started with that one of their star players in Jim Dernan, who's out with a hip injury. Should be right if they make it to the grand final. Wallace comes downfield now. He kicks out towards the wing position. Stein's under the ball, lets it go over his head, recovers well. Gets the hand pass working in towards the, the half-forward flank position. Coming through is Matrovsky. Matrovsky with the hand pass over towards Quinn. Quinn over towards Lawler. Lawler with the further hand pass up, puts his player under a lot of pressure. Eason punches it away, and then Lawler again up towards Caday. Caday over to Hodges. Hodges tries to get around his opponent, does so. Kicks in towards the centre half-forward position. Nelson from behind, takes the mark. A great mark there to Nelson. And Daryl Nelson, normally a good kick of the football, will line up from about 40 metres or 35 metres out from goal. They've been playing 15 minutes and they badly need this goal. Kick two so far today as he lines up for number three and he's made the distance straight through the middle. Sunshine back in action. 16 minutes into the uh, final quarter. They now move on to 13, 14, 88. So Sunshine now, right back in this game. If they can get a quick goal out of the centre now. Stein's in the ruck, will do it. Battle against Cade. It's been a free kick for an infringement, and it'll go to Sunshine. Brown tried to run off with it, but Cade will take the free kick. Chips in towards centre half forward. Matrovsky now lines up from 45 metres out from goal. It's long, it's through for a goal. Four points to Sunshine. Oh, and what a game we've got now. Four points the difference. Sunshine, 15, 14, 98. Paran, 16, 6, 102. Back in the middle of the ground, you've got Stein still arguing with the umpire there. So too are Cook and a couple of other Paran players. They can't believe it. But at this stage of the game, you don't stop and watch the opposition run away with the ball, as Sunshine did on that occasion. So Sunshine, who finished clear on top of the second division ladder at the end of the home and away season were beaten in their first finals match this season have come right back into this game we've been playing now for 16 almost 17 minutes Sulos dives on top of the ball he was pushed in the back the umpire comes in and will bounce just slightly towards the wing position on the members side of the ground Steins has been a good player looks to be carrying a bit of a cork thigh there Caday gets into his back Steins with the left foot kick out towards the half forward line and is taken there by Taylor Taylor has Walder free at centre half forward, decides to go long looking for low. Moss is from behind, punches it away, comes to the ground. Menadju with the kick up towards the wing position, but Hutchison's there and he takes the mark. So Hutchison looking forward now. He's going to get a 15 metre penalty. Sunshine able to pick up all the Paran forwards. Walder in front. In the back, Cade, the big ruckman, gets the hand pass out to Moss. Moss and Lowe, as we said earlier, having a top duel. He goes very defensive for the boundary line. In front is Brown. Well taken out of the game by Sulos there, who taps it over the line. 18 minutes gone. Two points the difference. The scoreboard was wrong there before. Sunshine now in front by two points. Cook grabbed too high. And he'll take the free kick. Cook's been a good player today. He's kicked four goals on the half-forward line. He certainly uh, kept his half-back flankers busy. Scoreboard here at the Junction Oval getting carried away off the excitement. They've changed the score three times in the last three minutes and there hasn't been a score. I think so we'll forget about it. I think there's two points of difference. We'll stick to that at the moment. Moss up high, can't take the mark, comes to the ground, days in. Protetto, who's been a great player, scouts the pack well, gets the handball working up towards Petrovsky. Petrovsky now will go long out towards Scanlon on the half-forward line. Back gets into the back of him and will give away the free kick. So Scanlon, the captain of the Sunshine side, will drive the Crows further into attack. Litchfield waiting for the Protetto big kick up full forward. Making a move out here on the half forward line. He'll ignore Protetto and.